you guys what's up welcome back again to my youtube channel um i already prepared my face my face and uh, my sorry i prepared my face already and my hair because we are going to be wearing uh, uh this um beautiful wig we're going to be wearing with this mermaid look so yes i'm going to be using a couple of things is just this right here oh the light sorry i have different lighting so we have this right here, Metron Sin Wax. Uh, we have that. And then I have a couple of shales that I got that we had um, at the, around the house. So I'm gonna be using some of those. And makeup as it is, uh, the only thing that I'm gonna do, that I'm gonna say, I did grab one of these ones that is the fishnets. It's, it's for the hair, but I got it for the face. So let's get started, you guys, and <laughs> let's see how this crazy look turns out. I'm hoping and praying that it comes out super badass. So let's get started, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to jump very quickly. Yes, I do have a shirt, so don't think I'm naked or whatever. But I think I'm going to take it off later on because I'm going to try to do the whole body paint, like, as far as from, like, my breast and up. So we'll see. Um, I'm gonna get started with this pencil right here. It's just a white pencil regular white pencil and I like this lighting Let me tell you about this lighting guys <laughs> Okay, so once that that's done, I'm gonna kind of have half um, As a mermaid and the other half different Now that the line is done, I'm gonna jump in really quick with one any of these brushes right here let me get a little bit there you go okay and then i'm gonna um try my metron clown y i'm gonna use that half of it um to pretty much cover all this because this is all gonna go into a scale look okay and once that's done all this kind of covered i'm gonna go in with a beauty blender i'm just gonna start making sure that the paint is blended really good it's hard to put a fish in it guys <laughs> whoa okay let me try this no i was gonna use my murphy 35b but for this case i want it super pigmented so i'm gonna go with my ultimate more free 12 picasso palette and i'm gonna use uh the reds pinks um orange wait should i wear orange well you'll you'll see the colors that is gonna go into my eyes so and star oh my god he's gonna be super pigmented you guys this is why i love more free look how pigmented these colors are super good oh jesus this looks good and kind of the same side starts sort of like blending towards the pink one so it can kind of give it that effect pink to blue one, which is this one right here a lime green and the same thing here we're gonna start blending towards the blue so it can give it that fading effect I'm gonna use is any highlight try to kind of base it if not try to put a color a little bit of highlighted that is gonna show for instance I'm gonna use a black light highlight uh, six color palette from BH cosmetic Lucky brush that you don't use anymore and start for instance I'm gonna start getting illusion which is no I'm gonna go on point which is like super pink and start diving in there And make sure it's at least shows decent, like nice, well blended. Then I'm going to go in with the blue one and start doing the same thing. So for the green one, I'm going to go into Electra, which is kind of like a yellowish. And then since I don't have pink highlight, I mean this green or orange highlight i'm gonna use um stroke <sighs> i'm a little nervous because i don't know if that's gonna come out so let's see how oh my gosh wow you guys can you guys oh ah i got stuck in my earring oh my gosh 
Oh my gosh, she's gonna take it off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I have no choice but to yank it. Right here, I don't know if you can see, but um, let me try to lower the light. It didn't come out as I thought it would be because, um, like I said, it wasn't pressed into the skin. So, I mean, you can leave it like that. It's okay. It's not that bad <laughs> right here. So, it's okay, you guys. Nobody's perfect. Right? Very important step. Get um, your wet wipey. For in case, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to correct that line and hoping that it didn't mark my skin. No, it didn't. Cool. So start playing with this, give it a cool effect. Like how the scales came out, like, especially the pink one, look how pigmented that looks. And we're gonna give it kind of like a highlight effect. So I'm gonna use this detail brush, kind of not too skinny, not too big. I'm gonna go with my Metron. I ordered a white one because it's completely gone. <laughs> it's super super gone so I'm gonna go in with the white one just make a line to uh, cut it I have another brush like this one the same thing from BA, uh, from NYX and it's a brush uh, since I, I ran out of the other one I'm just wow and I just so first I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna kind of like do if I can see if I can do like an eyeshadow look and the lines doesn't have to have to be super perfect um, if you can see I'm actually messing up but um, as long as you get close to the white one It's all that matters. With a super, super tiny, well, not super tiny, but I mean, like this, a brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with black eyeshadow, make it into a fading effect. Use uh, BH Cosmetics number six, it's almost out. And, um, oh, the light is a little bit dark. So I'm gonna go in with that one, just <laughs> three taps because it's super dark. And then we're gonna get started with this face. So, we're gonna, I already created some, this is how I make them, and then I'll just roll them and then I start kind of like pushing, pr pressing hard. Just kind of press the sides and then do this so it won't mess up the look you're trying to do. Now that the horn is there, we're just gonna start pressing a little bit not too hard but make it blendable I couldn't actually find my NYX pressing powders so I'm just gonna use my uh, <coughs> the air spun just to kind of set it and I'm gonna use this one the old the one that actually came with uh, the powder um, whatever you call this and I'm just gonna press a little bit and just they're kind of Making it look a little bit more natural, sort of, which nothing is natural, but <coughs> I'm just going to do my normal eyeshadow how I do it. And then because I really don't want to um, have you guys waiting for so long. So let me put that on, uh, film everything and uh, kind of um, come back once it's done with the uh, the eyeshadow and all that. It's just basic what I'm going to do. It's nothing super dramatic or anything and then i'll be back um to add the accessories and everything guys so okay. so i'm back i just pretty much did just the contour the um highlight and all that i didn't really put highlight because i mean the scars right here so my little mermaid thing so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna start painting down like my body and everything like that so let's see how that comes out so I'm going to use kind of this uh, sort of multiple one. So I'm just going to kind of like start dabbing, I mean tabbing everywhere so I can kind of, you know, show. We're going to start with the yellow. So I'm going to kind of just Then again, this is optional. If you want to do it, you don't have to. But as for me, I'm going to do it just so it can kind of give it that cool effect that super hardcore jaw. Start blending right here slightly so it can kind of be blendable. I 
Now we're gonna go with another brush, almost similar to that one, and, well, not really similar, but I'm gonna uh, use this one right here, and I'm gonna dip it, dip it into that grain to make it like that dark effect on the ocean. Kind of fit it into the yellow, sort of, so. And into the blue. Now we're gonna add this little babies to shield. So this hook right here that I'm gonna show you guys, this is a wigging, uh, wig, uh, needle so it comes like this this is what I'm gonna use as my hook just be super careful guys super super careful that um, you don't accidentally kind of go through the wax and skin through your skin because it will pierce through so I'm just gonna kind of force it in there like so start blending in there and then kind of press it upwards and there you go there's your hook guys so i got this ones i believe i got this ones at the dollar store you can get some and anything like this i think it came in pack of uh four or five for a dollar and then what i'm gonna use i got this one on spirit halloween or halloween spirit i got this one right here blood and we just kind of color it first, kind of like red that I use for the pink one. I'm gonna dip it into the red and kind of start coloring it in there. Hopefully it gets the color because it's my skin color. You know what, no. Let me use my other uh, palette that I have, which is this famous one right here. I got it off from eBay, this one for $9. So I'm just gonna get <coughs> a brush like this, get into the red and just start kind of coloring it. Get some of that dark um, right here, burgundy, and then making it look a little bit more real. And then at the end, we're gonna get very slightly black, very, very, very little. Very little with the white to give it kind of like that highlight effect. <coughs> very, very little <coughs> around it. So let's see how it stands out. It's coming off, huh? Yeah. I'm going to actually, ah, I'm going to actually put on my wig. And then we can start putting those in. Like that, I'm not really going to glue it down because I'm going to take it off. But make sure you glue your wig so it won't be moving around. Yeah, just don't mind that if it's lifting up, okay? Just, I just want to do this look for you guys very fast. Well, not really fast. It took me a few hours, but bobby pin it a little bit. And get this little one right here. Like so, there you go, that's better. Okay, a uh, brush like this, dip it into that one because it's kind of thick, the one I got, which is amazing. I was hoping that it would be the thick blood. I mean, it's kind of not super, you know. Yeah, it is, it, it is kind of thick, so that's good. That tops my look for today, guys. Hopefully you guys love this look and give it a... <coughs> Give it a thumbs up for this look guys i absolutely love it and um yeah making sure that everything's okay <laughs> don't mind this bobby pin i just wanted to do it very fast just make sure oh it's going in my eye um just make sure that um you get something like clear bobby pins or something or even the little ones or something or if not get the fake ones shields that you can kind of like stab them or whatever but these are actually real shields um shields or shelves Sorry, I don't know how you say it, but you can just like stick them out everywhere pretty much how you want them. And it's just that it's super hard because since they're real, they don't have, you see, they don't have nowhere to actually hold yeah, you them. can see my little microphone, my little heart clean. So that is it, you guys. Hope you guys like it. And um, one quick thing before I leave. I didn't put contacts because you can see the blood right here is spilling. But um, 
I try to make it as more and more and more as I could so you guys don't have to be uh, buying like contacts and everything so I give it a kind of like a natural sort of look effect with that contacts because I could have gone all out and do the contacts and make you guys spend more but we're trying to actually aim um, to be like a budget for you guys in case if this is your last minute thing that you're gonna do um, <laughs> I can stop playing with my hair okay <laughs> Just leave it. So it'll be like more of a budget and then that way you guys won't have to buy so many things that'll be super expensive. But um, in case if you want some um, some eye contacts then definitely get them. You can use this one, the white one, <coughs> or you can get some green contacts as well, whatever color you want and make it work with that. So that is it you guys. Make sure to subscribe and tell me what you think about this look. Okay, love you guys. Mwah.